Matthew Mitchum shot to fame in 2008 as the first diver in Olympic history to score a perfect 10. But his success in the sporting world ran in parallel with depression and drug addiction in his personal life. Now he's taking a plunge into an entirely different world in a tell-all cabaret show that reveals the highs and lows of a man addicted to winning. Lucy Martin reports. Je veux seulement a lonely kid from Brisbane who achieved Olympic glory, conquered a drug addiction and then became a cabaret star. There's more than a few twists and turns in Matthew Mitchum's story. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, welcome to the diving board, or what I like to call my office. The Olympic diver is this week performing the world premiere of his cabaret show in Perth. It's a brutally honest look at the highs and lows of a life lived on the edge. Drugs, rock and roll, badass, Vegas hoes, late night, booty calls, shiny disco balls. Performing cabaret isn't much of a stretch for Matt. He's always loved music and the spotlight. Okay, so I learnt the capital of every state in America. Go on, try me. Throw me out of state. Anyone? Utah. Utah. Capital of Utah is you. <laughs> Anyone else? I always loved music as a kid, but um, in the household that I grew up in, um, my mum just she had a chronic fatigue and depression and you know a few other things and so she ended up spending a lot of days in bed and so I wasn't actually allowed to make noise or she'd just go totally ballistic so um, I had to really indulge in um, silent hobbies and activities and so it ended up being reading and then trampolining because that was outside and that was relatively quiet and like anything I love it was hard to get me off it <laughs> What I saw in Matt was a show pony. He's in a room with, you know, kind of seasoned performers and practitioners, and he holds his own. Seasoned performer Rhys Morgan met Matt at a festival in Melbourne. He wrote the show based on Matt's autobiography and also appears in it as the diver's alter ego. What Matt's kind of made me realise is how brave it is to kind of get up there and tell your story and what makes Matt, so much more interesting as, as a performer is the fact he's not hiding behind the veneer of a persona. You know, it's him. And the worst part is thinking it might never stop. Oh, if I could pull myself together, I'd try. Behind Matt's ambition and drive was a desperate need to be liked. I remember thinking maybe if I'm the best in the world at something then you know my mum will love me more um, and I you know obviously now I realize this was kind of faulty thinking um, but at the time you know this was that was my reality and so that was a really strong driving force for me um, throughout my sports career. You have to be perfect so that people will like you. The talented young diver kept a lid on his battle with depression, training hard during the week and hitting the clubs on the weekend. But the lifestyle caught up with him. You are banned from competing in the Malaysian World Championships. After a very brief retirement, Matt resumed training and qualified for the 2008 Beijing Olympics. So fast forward to Beijing, and I really am the only gay in the village. <laughs> Allegedly. He won gold in the 10 metre dive, becoming the first person in Olympic history to achieve a perfect score from all the judges. That is stunning. My cheeks really hurt just from all the smiling and laughing and jumping and I'm sweating and my face burns from the chlorine and I'm in pain and I'm tired but I'm so happy. <laughs> but after the intense high came crushing lows. I thought the only reason people liked me was because of the medal. So I was left with a pretty um, hollow feeling and, and pretty low um, self-worth. Um, and that's when I fell back onto the last crutch that I used as a teenager and that was hard drugs. Just try me. 
Matt is now clean and has been training for the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow later this year. The show's Perth run ends tomorrow night. Next stop, Sydney and Melbourne. Matt's confident his story will continue to resonate with audiences. I actually think it's because people really relate to a lot of the stuff that I talk about. Um, you know, it's certainly not an isolated um, problem, depression. And for perhaps the first time in his life, Matt is allowing himself to simply enjoy the moment. Producers of the show are coming up to me saying, oh my God, guess what, you've been nominated for two awards and you've got four stars of, in the Western Australian, and, you know, telling me all these things. And I am just like oblivious to it all. I know exactly what I want and who I want to be. I don't have this urge to, you know, to go more and to do better and stuff. Like I'm just actually enjoying the show for what it is. Show him your love, Mr. Matthew Mitchell! Mr. Matthew Mitchell! Show him your love! Well, let's come out of here. The show's finished, guys. Lucy Martin with that story.